I love watching. Now, I'm going to make somebody mad here, but I, I, I <laughs> that's going to make somebody, I was so disappointed when my mama told me there was no such thing as an Easter bunny. I was eight years old. I thought, my God, he's the only one I know that can afford candy. <laughs> Mama and dad couldn't afford no candy. So she told me in the car, I, I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday. Jesse, there's no Easter money. Oh. Well, now where did you get mad at me? Write me an ugly letter. Easter money come to my house. The tooth fairy come to my house. Santa Claus come to my house. I welcome them all. <laughs> I know that makes somebody mad. That's all right. I just do it. And my granddaughter don't want a nickel or a quarter. She wants a gold coin. I'm going to tell you something. This tooth fairy got some money. She said, I'm going to get a gold coin, grandfather. Oh, Lord. Man, I went to running. I got to get some gold coins. She's already lost nine teeth. All gold coins. <laughs> I enjoy her believing. I know it's coming. That's not the issue. See, now whether you believe this or not, take it, if you don't like it, throw it out. We're teaching her to believe something and also to believe the real. Now she's starting to understand the word pretend. Pretend. I said, there's such a thing as pretend. But it's good to believe and pretend sometimes. I do that and I'm going to be 66 years old next week. I still like, I call it faith imagination. I just enjoy believing. Lord, I said, Lord, let me, let me be a child for a few minutes. Man, I just enjoy myself. My, I let my imagination soar and it turns into faith. Because it causes me to believe. I've had Mary say, did you see the Easter money? I said, yeah. I saw him, Meredith. He did. What he looks like? I say, he looks a lot like grandfather. <laughs> he does. I say, I ain't lying. I am the Easter Bunny. <laughs> now, I know somebody's going to get mad about that, but that's all right. And now she's starting to believe. When I used to give her money, she took a dollar. She don't do that no more. She's seven now. She says, how about a 20? Then she hit me last week for a hundred. She said, how about a hundred? I said, that'd be fine. Is that as high as you can go? She goes, what's the other number? I said, you're going to have to, <laughs> you're going to, have to believe for that one, baby. I ain't telling you, but the day you believe it. So when I, when I got around, quote, the church, everything was Ecclesiastes. The only two prayers I knew was the Our Father prayer and the Hail Mary prayer. That's it. Anybody been Catholic at least once in here? Well, you know, is that what we learn? Our Father art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is, heaven give it us a day, our daily bread. Forgive our trespasses. We give those. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Am I right? Once they teach you them prayers, it never come out of you. You can be saved and word of faith for 50 years. And you walk in a Catholic church, and without thinking, you go, Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. <laughs> Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Am I, am I telling the truth? I never could forget. I never could understand why they ever called a Hail Mary. Until I realized that she lost God for three days. Can you believe that? She lost God for three days. She didn't know where Jesus, if your kid's missing an hour, wouldn't you know? <laughs> wouldn't you know if your kid's been missing an hour? Three days? Hail Mary. <laughs> the Lord is not with thee. <laughs> now don't write me no ugly letter. <laughs> she, she was just as human as we are. Oh, look at some of these Catholics. Don't get mad at me. Make the sign of the cross. Come on, that'll help you out here. You would think 
that Joseph and her would have known where that boy was. I promise you this. When my granddaughter comes to my house, if I don't see it in five minutes, I'm looking, man. That's why she's full of grace. 